This dwelling was uh, built in this naturally beautiful cliff dwelling um, over 750 years ago. So people lived here from 1300 to 1450. There used to be 20 rooms in this dwelling and there were up to 40 people that lived here at one time. If you turn around and look at all the walls behind us, the first three walls that were built in this dwelling were over on the right-hand side. What's up guys, welcome back to another video and today's video we're going to uh, camping. I'm going to camp with the outdoors and uh, we're gonna go to the Tonto Momentum and then also Apache Lake. So, where are we California. camping today? Oh, today we're camping at Apache Lake. And how long is the hike? The hike, uh, it's only about like a mile and a half I think. It shouldn't take us too long. No? <laughs> I'm kidding. So right now everybody is here and then we are about to leave for the trip. I'm Maxwell and the interesting fact about me is I'm constantly here. I'm Kylie and uh, I want to take a nap. Uh, I'm Scott and I'm not going to shut up this whole trip. I'm Kate and I love reading. <laughs> I'm Brianna and I love to go camping. I'm Dawson and I'm Canadian. I'm Rachel and really like cats. I'm Brady and I love hiking. I'm Monty and uh, <laughs> I like to hike too. Yeah. So right now we are about to leave and uh, as I said we are camping at the Apache Lake and uh, if you're new to this channel please don't forget to subscribe and like and share this video and comment and this video if you have been too, so there sure. before. All right guys, so this is a visitor center for Tonto National Momentum. Uh, everybody is here. We are probably gonna go in the visitor center and then check out and then grab some map and uh, we're gonna start hiking. So the trail itself starts from here, thank you. And then you climb the stairs right here. You can see the view there. So guys, so we just started hiking right now. Today the trail is uh, one and a half miles, which is not really hard. Right now we're on our way. And this is where we're going now. It's very steep. No tough hike. Right here you can see the view of the lake. This is a Roosevelt Lake. So the view here is beautiful. <laughs> we are almost there guys. Look how beautiful it is. That's the lake out there. And then this is where we are. And then the trail goes this way. Short hike, but high steep the whole hike all the way through. It's like going in the incline, but it's simple. Good. Good for exercise so as well. Bye. 
and things like that, okay? But this dwelling was built in this naturally beautiful cliff dwelling um, over 750 years ago. So people lived here from 1300 to 1450. There used to be 20 rooms in this dwelling and there were up to 40 people that lived here at one time. If you turn around and look at all the walls behind us, the first three walls that were built in this dwelling were over on the right hand. The dwelling wall naturally went right down, so what you're standing on has been reinforced construction so that you can walk through the dwelling, which is pretty awesome. There aren't a lot of dwellings you can do this in. This dwelling were over on the right hand side, then there were two rooms built over here. How they came and left the dwelling was back behind that wall. There's a rock area and they came back behind there. So when you walk back there, you'll see some rock that kind of goes down. And, and this is an excellent example of construction of how they built the dwelling. The thin uh, pieces of wood going vertical are the saguaro cactus ribs that you passed when you walked up to this dwelling. And the bigger pieces of wood is juniper. And then they would put six to eight inches of adobe up of that to either reinforce the floor that was going to be above them or to make a ceiling. And where people went to get water was not down where the Salt River used to run, but actually, if you follow this ridge line halfway up on the other side is a riparian area where there's a natural spring. And that natural spring, you'll find black walnut trees, you'll find sycamore trees, so it's a very riparian area. And they believe that they also did terrace farming over there as well. There were up to about 4,000 people that lived in the flatter lands down there on the Salt River. At the same time, people were living here in the cliff dwellings. There's evidence that they traded uh, goods, so they did get along and they lived well here as neighbors. They grew cotton, beans, squash, and corn. And they would store food in their beautiful big brown pottery that there are samples of in the visitor center. And they would also weave fabric out of that cotton and make uh, shawls. They had beautiful patterns. Be sure to look for those samples as well. They would weave sandals out of yucca and also made mats to sleep on. So they did live comfortably. They would hunt for food, they would fish. And again, they were up here for 150 years. Why they left, we don't know. Um, but they did live well while they were here. Questions? As you're wondering about, if you have questions, please let me know. Enjoy the view. You hear the great history about this place 
what happened in the past and all those kind of stuff. Interesting stuff uh, to hear and then also to learn. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, history part and um, everything that uh, the Ranger said. So stay tuned. So right now we got to the camping spot. You can see behind me there is a wreck, the wreck. So I'm thinking like putting the tent right here. that our fire actually stays in the fire pit. That's that's so good. Good. <laughs> Alright guys, so go to bed now, see you in the next video.